Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is actually take you through the process on how to cut out an image real quick and actually prepare it to be inserted into a professional background or digital prop. And it's real simple. We're going to open the image and to open an image you just go to file, open, and then you select your image. I've already done that to save some time and that's my image right here. This is my ordinary image that was shot on a white background. Now, I have my magic wand tool selected right here. Now there's all different ways that you can cut out an image in Photoshop and actually in the resources section I'm going to show you some different ways to do it because sometimes they're easier than others depending on if there's hair involved or not. Now in this case we got a pretty clean image so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the magic uh, wand tool and we're going to click anywhere in the white and then you can see it isolates a nice area around the subject. Now it left some of this, it left some of this, and that's okay. We can always clean that up, but what I'll do is I'll just click in here to save a little time for later, right here. Okay, and it leaves a little bit there, but that's okay. We can always erase that later, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So now there's a couple of different things to do here. If we think this is clean enough, we can just go over here to our background layer, double click on it, it'll say you can name it, or just hit OK and then you want to go to layer up here layer new cut and now watch what happens turn this layer off here we pretty much have our cutout now it's not going to be perfect because there's probably probably going to be some white that was left behind but let me show you something let me open up my other image that I want to insert this into because remember what I told you about if you are going to be working on a white background and you're working on a white digital um, background or prop you don't have to do as much work with the cutout and let me show you what I mean I take this image that I want to insert this into right here I click on my image right here I take the image that I cut out right here right in this spot right here and I just simply drag it into my image and then look what happens now the image is huge right so we're gonna scale that down so we just grab the side here hit your shift key and then just resize your image just like that and then we'll go ahead and we'll take this and we'll rotate it just a little bit slide the image over to the to the side a little bit hit your pointer tool over here it's going to come up with a message that says do you want to apply this transformation and you say yes and that's it there we go we got we have this image inside of this wash tub now look at over here real quick I just want to go over this this right here this cover-up layer is something that we developed and we designed with all of the photo props and the digital backgrounds that we provide most of ours have this cover-up layer now if you didn't have one you can always create your own and I also have a tutorial on that as well but if that wasn't on that's what it would look like and that's why this here uh, doesn't really matter in this case if, it, if this did matter I'd have to clean this up and cut this out but when I turn that cover-up layer on that's what I get now if you didn't have a cover-up layer you could always go in here and just cut out here but the problem with that is, is what if you wanted to move that image around I can take that image right now and move it around inside of this of this uh, wash tub okay so this is just one example now let's say that that hand was sticking out over here like that well, that's pretty simple if I know that I'm not going to use that hand I can just go into the eraser tool which is located right here and I can just simply turn it up a little bit so it's bigger a little bit bigger and I can just go in here and go like that done so this picture is just about ready then I would just go ahead and um, hit layer and flatten the image but let me add one more thing to this to show you how cool this is I go to open I'm going to find a digital hat that I want to put on it we're doing a holiday scene so I want to put a Santa hat on the baby so I just take the red hat drag it in it's obviously too big right put it over there hit the shift key and start to 
transform this hat so it fits this baby. Just like that. Just like that. Hit the pointer tool, and that's going to say, do you want to apply? Say yes. And now, see how this border is going around? And I also have uh, tutorials to show you how to do the border. Look, see how it's behind the border? I can make that happen, but it's on top of the border. Simply just by taking the hat in the layers now and dragging it up. And there we go. Now I can, again, reposition this hat any way that I want. So that right there is kind of like your final image. And then all I need to do now is go layer, flatten, file, save as, and I'll title it whatever I want, Christmas. Save it as a JPEG. save to your location that you want to save it to obviously and just hit save it'll ask you uh, what the quality is that you want to save say the best quality which is 12 hit OK and this picture is done and ready for your client it's that simple to take an ordinary image and insert it into a digital background or digital prop